In signal processing, the Wiener filter is a filter used to produce an estimate of a desired or target random process by linear time invariant filtering of an observed noisy process, assuming known stationary signal and noise spectra, and additive noise. The Wiener filter minimizes the mean square error between the estimated random process and the desired process. Description the goal of the Wiener filter is to compute a statistical estimate of an unknown signal using a related signal as an input and filtering that known signal to produce the estimate as an output. For example, the known signal might consist of an unknown signal of interest that has been corrupted by additive noise. The Wiener filter can be used to filter out the noise from the corrupted signal to provide an estimate of the underlying signal of interest. The Wiener filter is based on a statistical approach, and a more statistical account of the theory is given in the minimum mean square error estimator article. Typical deterministic filters are designed for a desired frequency response. However, the design of the Wiener filter takes a different approach. One is assumed to have knowledge of the spectral properties of the original signal and the noise and one seeks the linear time invariant filter whose output would come as close to the original signal as possible. Wiener filters are characterized by the following assumption. Signal and noise are stationary linear stochastic processes with known spectral characteristics or known autocorrelation and cross-correlation. Requirement The filter must be physically realizable, causal, performance criterion. Minimum mean square error. This filter is frequently used in the process of deconvolution. For this application, see Wiener deconvolution. Wiener filter solutions. The Wiener filter problem has solutions for three possible cases. One where a non-causal filter is acceptable, the case where a causal filter is desired, and the finite impulse response case where a finite amount of past data is used. The first case is simple to solve but is not suited for real-time applications. Wiener's main accomplishment was solving the case where the causality requirement is in effect and in an appendix of Wiener's book Levinson gave the first solution, non-causal solution where a spectra, provided that is optimal, then the minimum mean square error equation reduces to and the solution is the inverse two-sided Laplace transform of, causal solution where consists of the causal part if, is the causal component if, is the anti-causal component if, this general formula is complicated and deserves a more detailed explanation. To write down the solution in a specific case, one should follow these steps. Start with the spectrum in rational form and factor it into causal and anti-causal components, where contains all the zeros and poles in the left half plane and contains the zeros and poles in the right half plane. This is called the Wiener-Hopf factorization. Divide by and write out the result as a partial fraction expansion. Select only those terms in this expansion having poles in the LHP. Call these terms. Divide by. The result is the desired filter transfer function. Finite impulse response Wiener filter for discrete series. The causal finite impulse response Wiener filter, instead of using some given data matrix X and output vector Y, finds optimal tap weights by using the statistics of the input and output signals. It populates the input matrix X with estimates of the autocorrelation of the input signal and populates the output vector Y with estimates of the cross-correlation between the output and input signals. In order to derive the coefficients of the Wiener filter, consider the signal W n being fed to a Wiener filter of order n and with coefficients. The output of the filter is denoted x n, which is given by the expression the residual error is denoted e n and is defined as e n equals x n minus s n. The Wiener filter is designed so as to minimize the mean square error which can be stated concisely as follows, where denotes the expectation operator. In the general case, the coefficients may be complex and may be derived for the case where W, N and S 
n are complex as well. With a complex signal, the matrix to be solved is a Hermitian toplitz matrix, rather than symmetric toplitz matrix. For simplicity, the following considers only the case where all these quantities are real. The mean square error may be rewritten as to find the vector which minimizes the expression above. Calculate its derivative with respect to assuming that W, N and S, N are each stationary and jointly stationary. The sequences are known respectively as the autocorrelation of W, N and the cross-correlation between W, N and S, N can be defined as follows. The derivative of the MSE may therefore be rewritten as letting the derivative be equal to zero results in which can be rewritten in matrix form. These equations are known as the Wiener-Hopf equations. The matrix T appearing in the equation is a symmetric toplitz matrix. Under suitable conditions on these matrices are known to be positive definite and therefore non-singular yielding a unique solution to the determination of the Wiener filter coefficient vector. Furthermore, there exists an efficient algorithm to solve such Wiener-Hopf equations known as the Levins and Durbin algorithm so an explicit inversion of is not required. Relationship to the least squares filter The realization of the causal Wiener filter looks a lot like the solution to the least squares estimate, except in the signal processing domain. The least squares solution for input matrix and output vector is the fur Wiener filter is related to the least mean squares filter, but minimizing the error criterion of the latter does not rely on cross-correlations or autocorrelations. Its solution converges to the Wiener filter solution. Applications The Wiener filter has a variety of applications in signal processing, image processing, control systems, and digital communications. These applications generally fall into one of four main categories. System identification, deconvolution, noise reduction, signal detection. For example, the Wiener filter can be used in image processing to remove noise from a picture. For example, using the Mathematica function, Wiener filter image 2 on the first image on the right produces the filtered image below it. It is commonly used to denoise audio signals, especially speech, as a preprocessor before speech recognition. History the filter was proposed by Norbert Wiener during the 1940s and published in 1949. The discrete time equivalent of Wiener's work was derived independently by André Kolmogorov and published in 1941. Hence the theory is often called the Wiener-Kolmogorov filtering theory. The Wiener filter was the first statistically designed filter to be proposed and subsequently gave rise to many others including the Kalman filter.